What's going on, guys? Hey, how are you? Repeat back with you. Special race here Sunday afternoon, 5 o'clock p.m. Good to see you. Well, this is week number one of nine or ten weeks. I'm not quite sure. I hear a little bit of conflicting information, but that is a-okay. We got to have one hell of a month or two. Again, Daytona tonight is going to be the Coke Zero 400 brought to you by Shadow Racing. Um, man, when Shadow, or uh, Unforgotten Shadow, reached out to me with a little bit of help from Papa Bear and a couple others and said, hey, I got this idea for a great new league. And, oh, by the way, the winner's going to go ahead and walk away with a couple of Daytona 500 tickets. Though the, uh, the season is uh, nine or ten weeks long. Again, it should end right about two weeks before Daytona to allow the winner to go ahead and make travel you know, plans and all that, make sure they can... And, can make their way down to Florida and sit right there with Pop Bear and his missus, Unforgotten Shadow, his missus, and somebody said something about they might even go ahead and get me a pair of tickets. So definitely um, looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely appreciate everybody that's out there. You know, so far it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. The guys are just about done with qualifying. Um, Originally, they were looking at for oh, about mm, 25 people. Uh, it actually turns out that we they're ending with a little bit closer to 30. Not everybody made it here tonight, so they I think there's like 20 to 25 tonight. So not uh, not too bad, but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You know, I don't think I've ever heard of another league um, offering to pay. You know. 200 bucks or so for uh, Daytona tickets for for the eventual winner. You know, we we've heard of trophies and you know we we uh, you know Rock NASCAR was was nice enough last last year for the uh, for the the NNR uh, Cup champion to to give them a year uh, a year's Xbox Live subscription. So that's that's pretty cool. So there are some people that shell out some cash, but man. Uh, Daytona 500 tickets. Uh, you know, it's man. I've been waiting for a long time to be able to get down there, so uh, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Daytona 500, I believe, is set to go green on uh, February the 14th. So, um, you know, Valentine's Day uh, weekend should be should be a pretty good time. Um, what uh, what what else would you expect? Again, you know, 20 to 25 guys. They just finished up with qualifying. There's a lot of very big names uh, sitting here in shadow racing. You know, you got Doc Hudson. He's part of uh, eSpark. j Pot, He's part of eSpark and NNR. More than a KP's all over the place. Papa Bear, King Mathers from from uh, American Ethanol, NASCAR fan, JP Big Dogs from from uh, uh, Turn Down for What. And looking to try to get into eSpark as well as being as a, a uh, an NNR driver. I've never heard of Dizzy Boy, but uh, that that doesn't mean much. Bossy Geo runs in TNT, also runs in NNR. Unforgotten Shadow in NNR. Uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of guys in here. Uh, you know, I mentioned a more smoke, the Aviator, uh, and, and many many others. So I'm I'm looking forward to a great race. And I'm looking forward to a, a great couple of months. Um, every all the uh, all the races will be right here, so make sure you go on up, smash that follow, hit the subscribe if you can. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun tonight. It's the the uh, Daytona race under the lights, so we're we're starting off with kind of a, a mid-season feel, and I can tell you the rest of the the league. Uh, schedule. I believe next week they go to Auto Club. Uh, yeah, so, so uh, tonight it's the Daytona Summer Race. Next week they go to Auto Club. Then they go to Charlotte. After that, it's going to be the uh, the one and only short track uh, race that's on the schedule. Then the one and only road course at the Glen, which should be a lot of fun. Then you got Texas. Texas can be very, very tricky coming off a of turn four. So that's going to be pretty good. Uh, Phoenix, some people consider that kind of like a, uh, a short track as well. But we're going to go to Phoenix. Then we're going to go to Vegas. 
And then finally, we're going to wrap it all up at Daytona. So uh, that's nine races. I'm thinking there might be one more in there somewhere else, but I don't have uh, I, I don't know for sure. So it could just be nine races, but it could also be the 10, which was originally um, sent out. So, um, you know. Be prepared, you know, 5 o'clock, uh, between 5 and 5.30, depending on how things go. This is their first race. It took them a little bit longer to get, you know, get people in and get people set and get people ready to go. Uh, but after tonight, I'm sure it'll move along just a little bit smoother. And uh, they'll, they'll probably start right about 5.30. And God, I hope so. Whatever my wife is making downstairs for dinner <laughs> smells amazing. All right. But, uh, yeah, they're like I said, they're all done with qualifying. They're back in the lobby. I will have a couple of streamers tonight to help me out with uh, with the lap count and any, uh, you know, caution flags or any um, issues, you know, what, whatever they may see. Definitely want to give a big thanks to Monster Mike as well as Doc Hudson for uh, for streaming and, and allowing me and us to, to kind of tag along. Definitely appreciate it. I know uh, Monster Mike is his stream. If you want to check out his his POV, is Monster Mike 3393 and Doc Hudson is Brower B R A U E R 514. Um, and yep, yeah, just make sure you uh, you come on back here to kind of keep an eye right here with us, um, teenage and. I thought I saw somebody out there just a little bit ago. Definitely thank you for, for hang, hanging out and chat. I know, Teenage, you said you're supposed to be out there with the fellas tonight, but unfortunately you had an issue with the game not loaded uh, or somehow got deleted from uh, from your console. But uh, I'm sure you'll be, you'll be good to go next week when we get to Auto Club. So... Like I said, qualifying's done. Everybody's back in the uh, everybody's back in the lobby, getting those last-minute words of instruction from Shadow. Uh, again, Unforgotten Shadow, as well as uh, as you know, Pop Bear's kind of helping him out a little bit. E Rock saying, "Let's go a little on the high side, Racing League." Absolutely appreciate you. Who do I, who do you got out here? Um, who who's actually racing tonight on uh, on behalf of High Side Rock? Once we get going, uh, Jay Pa, uh, as I mentioned before, he is part of uh, this uh, this series as well, trying to contend for those couple of Daytona 500 tickets. Uh, you know, uh, right along with him is uh, slowing in the way. I mentioned Doc Hudson before, and in our Pop Bear, Lions Muted, TGM Beast, uh, Fabco Gamer. Uh, he's another one I hadn't heard of. Uh, Gist of My Fist, I've definitely heard of. Dizzy Boy, again, not so much. Uh, AZ Yotes King, he's uh, he's out here as well. And there is that invite from j So we're going to go ahead and grab that. We're going to get loaded in, get things going. Man, it's going to be one hell of a time. MDC3369 says, that's Mike and Ike. Mike, man, uh, last night was rough. Last night was rough. But, man, it was good to good to finally get out there and, and you know, get on the track with you. Let me go ahead and uh, turn off this uh, turn off this music and let you let you hear everything else as it goes. Please let me know. Uh, if the uh, game audio is uh, is good or uh, too loud, too soft, I'll see what I can uh, do to adjust that. Erock says the 88, 2, and the 48 are all part of Little on the High Side Racing League. Definitely going to want to go and check them out uh, on Twitter. They got a pretty good little program. I remember them from the Fast Family uh, community. A lot of great racers uh, with, uh, with, with uh, Little on the High Side. All right, so here we go. It looks like it's going to be the 20 of King Mathers on the pole. The four of a more smoke sitting to his outside. 19 of A Bar. It's going to be the three of J JR Big Dogs. 21 of TGM Beast. 
37 of NNR Chevy with the 43 of Jose 95. Then we got 22 of the ever popular J Pa, 14 of AZ Yotes King, 95 of Unforgotten Shadow, 77 of Fabico Gamer, 18 of NASCAR Fan, 421, 10 car Lions Muted, 9 car Doc Hudson. I'll be riding along with him and Monster Mike tonight. 16 of Slow and In the Way, 88 of Just in My Fist, 12 car Dizzy Boy, 2 car Holy Nugget. 24 of more than a cape. Actually, one last night uh, during uh, during that race. 13 of Bossy Geo. 27 of the one and only NNR Pop Bear. 11 of Delta Surge. 12. Six car the Aviator. Uh, he needs no introduction there. 48 of Alpha York. And then we're back up front with the 20 of King Mathers. That's all the way through the field right now. A whole lot of action on that bottom line as you see him coming through three and four for the first time everybody kind of knows the tail um i'm sorry that was one and two so that was already lap two it took me that long just to go through the field but yeah that was, was already lap two 20 still in the lead 19 right there with him as well as the 21 four car but more smoke not sitting too far back he's sitting right now in p number four in that jimmy johns uh ford mustang Three car JR Big Dog. JR Big Dog is having a pretty dominant season over in uh, Turn Down for What, right along with JP Big Dogs. Uh, let's, uh, it's pretty, I love this, uh, this three throwback Camaro. Looks pretty good. Gonna continue to go on through. But yeah, again, everybody that's here, everybody that's in the, this, uh, this brand new, newly formed Shadows Racing League is. Is, is vying for a couple of Daytona 500 tickets at the end of this nine or ten week season. Uh, they do get uh, they get a bonus point for fast fastest lap of the race, as well as a bonus point for the pole. And then of course the the overall winner gets uh, gets an extra bonus point or two. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty good. You get back uh, get back and. Keep an eye on this whole field. A little bit of separation, but further in the back. Not quite sure if that's due to lag or if some people are just playing it safe. You know, maybe they didn't want to get up here and really mix it up in the very beginning. And it looks like the 22 of j uh, with that 95 all over his back bumper there. You see the 16 as well. j on his uh, on his wheel, able to hold a pretty steady line all the way around. He's kind of gaining pretty fast on this uh, this first pack the, the question will be will he go to the outside when he catches them or is he just kind of laying back a little bit maybe he doesn't want to get up there and be all over the 12 back bumper maybe he just wants to kind of be right there and ride actually i think that's the 10 not the 12. so maybe you know he just might want to be right there and ride not be all over his back bumper if he was a little surging a little bit i don't know 95, Jose, I'm sorry, I almost said Jose 95. Um, <laughs> um, that would be that would be amazing, teenage, um, if, uh, if that actually you know, turns out to be. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I've been waiting to, uh, he did mention it, but it wasn't, I, don't, I meant, um, that would be, uh, that would be pretty cool. Nine of uh, nine of Doc Hudson now in that uh, that Hooters Camaro had really didn't look like he had anywhere to go with the run. So once he hit the car square in the back, it actually shot him low. Ten had to check up for just a second in order to make sure that um, uh, he didn't uh, he didn't run the guy over as well. Couple of guys a little bit further in the back, including the 12 of Dizzy Boy. Him in the 88 pushing for, and uh, pulling for all it's worth. Uh, again, this is just uh, just a, you know stage number one. They're now just now starting the ninth of 24. I'm sorry, the um, I'll get a get a, a a lap count here in just a second. But uh, the uh, the nine car is actually sitting in ninth. They're not on lap number nine. 
Uh, there's the 24 of more than a cape, kind of right, right around the center of the pack. Uh, the 24 of more than a cape actually won uh, the uh, the race that I participated in last night over with Turn Down for what? It was uh, their uh, their Thanksgiving special race, and man, it was um, Cape just pulled it off masterfully. 13 of Bossy Geo, Pride of the Bahamas, uh, riding along uh, with him right now in his uh, Geico Camaro. Uh, he's a little bit further back, right behind the 48 of Alpha York, doing uh, doing a pretty good job as well. Kind of giving him a little bit of room, making sure that if something does happen, he's not wrapped up in it. There is that 11 of Delta Uh E-Rock out there saying he's part of a little on the high side racing as well. Right now, Delta's kind of in a precarious uh, position. He is, it, you know, it's possible that he could actually lose the, the draft if he continues to drop back. Not sure if he started off a little bit lower on a preset or, or what, just somehow lost the draft. Uh, he's got to make sure that he doesn't lose it completely before the uh, the end of stage one. I heard something there. It sounded like a little bit of contact, but I don't see where anybody's really, uh, anybody went around. They definitely had something going on because a uh, few people ended up going up to the high side. There is that 48 of Alpha York. Back up front with our leader. It's going to be the 20 of King Mathers. Uh, King Mathers has led the race uh, since the, the, the drop of the green. So doing a pretty good job keeping that 19 of A-bar right behind him. There's the 21. Four car of, of uh, Amor Smoke is also not far off of his bumper. It looks like Amor's still sitting in P4 or P5 right where he's been uh, since the since the, the drop of the green. Hasn't really left up off the uh, that bottom line. That's the line that everybody's got to protect all the way around. Twenty-one at TGM Beast, also uh, part of NNR. Um, King Mathers, part of NNR. Nineteen of Abar, three car, four car. Oh, a little bit of contact, a little bit further in the back. Can they hold on? Wait, good hands by the thirty-seven of NNR Chevy again. That's Monster Mike, and that has allowed a few people up front to try that outside lane. Here comes the four of more smoke with the 14 pushing hard. That's going to allow them to really uh, get up and go, but it looks like that bottom line is still going to prevail. Uma pulls to the outside and try to keep that moving. It doesn't look like anybody, so those three cars up top will more than likely fall just a bit further back. Kind of widen it back out again. Four in the 14. They are going to lose several spots. But again, this is just Daytona, and there's a lot of racing left to go. Not only in the season, but in these uh, in this this race. Uh, right now, everybody's got about 14 laps of fuel. This is a 50% race. Two times wear, two times fuel. Next time, Bob, we'll go ahead and grab a lap count, see how we're looking, uh, see you know, who's going to be able to. Uh, to, to go the rest of the way. As the pack goes screaming on by, 12 uh, laps remaining. So everybody should be able to make it from here on out. The only one that might be somewhat questionable is going to be that 20 of King Mathers in the front, in the first position. Will he have enough fuel to, to be able to go? And it looks like now they've got more cars formed up on that high side here comes that four car old oh, more smoke he's got uh, he's got what five or six guys right be lined up behind him will they will there be enough to get him uh get him to the front get him to the point point. 
Here it is, head to head, mano y mano, man versus man, high side versus low side, four and 14. They've been pushing and shoving pretty well together. 20 of King Mathers with the 19, still right behind him. Again, bottom line seem to have just a little bit more momentum, but they still have quite a few cars sitting on that outside. Now looking ahead from the four of them, more smoke at the three car down low. Uh, if the three car chooses to pull up, that will definitely help him. But the, uh, the, there's still more cars on that bottom line than there are on the top. Not to curse it, uh, you know, we do have that broadcaster's curse, but not to curse it. These guys have still been green for the entire duration uh, since you know since the green flag dropped. So doing a pretty good job, able to uh, you know what? Let's let's actually change up these lights around me. We've been green, so how about we go green in here instead of red? Let's go green, and we'll, maybe uh, maybe we can keep it that way. Doing a pretty good job right now. Three kind of washing up just a little bit as JR Big Dogs almost got into the four or the 14. Not quite sure. Four of them were smoke. A little bit of contact there. That's pushed him behind. But good job by just about everybody to dodge a more. That's going to bring out the caution. So first car. <laughs> what do you know? it? I jinxed it, right? So you know what? Let's go ahead and bring out that yellow. Uh, not like we want it to be, but we'll bring out the yellow. Everybody will get their first opportunity to bring it on down pit road, adjust their wedge, adjust their tape, adjust everything, and, uh, yeah, uh, do their tire pressures, whatever. Uh, these cautions usually last oh, about 40 seconds, so everybody should be. <laughs> yeah, Bowling, I think you're right, buddy. Um, everybody able to, um, uh, to, Get on down, and 40 seconds allows you quite a bit of time to adjust everything that you need. So we'll uh, we'll have to see, uh, kind of see how it goes. Again, uh, with the 20 of King Mathers. And let's go, let's bring it back green again. How's that sound? So back green with the 20 of King Mathers that has led every single lap so far. Looks like a lot of stacking back here under the lights at Daytona. Not quite sure what caused that. Uh, King Mathers shouldn't have gotten that great of a jump unless the guy that was sitting on the outside line did not hit, uh, did not you know, get up and going through the gears as quick as he uh, as he could have or should have. Uh, four of more smokes. He's going to be able to get underneath that too. I think this is the first time the four of more smoke has had clean track in front of him. Before he was sitting about P4 or P5. Now he's sitting about P7 or P8. 22 of j Pons going to allow that four to get on by. Now j Pons got a clean spot to get in underneath or get. Whoa, a little bit of contact out there as well. Hold on to it, Cape. Got more cars wrecking in the back. And back under yellow one more time. Everybody's going to slow it up, whoa it up, bring it back. And that uh, that is, did include the nine of, of uh, Doc Hudson. Uh, been riding along with him. And we've got it, oh, it looks like right around five laps to go in stage number one. We'll go ahead and uh, find that 20 of of uh, King Mathers one more time. He's more than likely still going to be the control car. They've got about 15 seconds left of their uh, the, uh, the the caution timer. There's that 20 of King Mathers. One more time for this 20 with the 19 who's outside, the 3 and the 10 going back green. Four car more smoke, find, uh, able to find a spot 
right in front of the 22 of j -Pa. Not quite sure if j uh, kind of cut him some slack there or what the case was. But there goes the four underneath the 37 as well. 22 with a head of steam. I know a more smoke. He's got that shifter. So probably able to get up and get going with those gears just a little bit faster than that 22. 19 of A-bars. He's been able to stick with that 20 just about the entire length of stage number one. He's been able to find a hole whenever he's whenever and wherever possible. Same thing as the, with the three of JR Big Dogs. Twenty-one of TGM Beast right now sitting oh just about P number four behind JR A bar and uh, King Matters. Again, if you're uh, if you're just joining, this is race number one of the Shadow Racing League. Uh, uh, it's race number one of of about nine races in this very very short season. The overall winner of the season. There's no playoffs, no nothing like that. But winner does take all here. Winner gets a pair. Not just one, but a pair of tickets to the Daytona 500. As looks like that was the end of stage number one right there. And the 20 of uh, King Mathers, I believe, was able to solidify his spot. So we're under caution uh, one more time. But this time it's for uh, stage break. Everybody, again, about 40 seconds to do whatever they can. If they weren't able to get their tire pressures, their wedge, uh, you know, the tape, whatever they wanted to do under those uh, quick two cautions, this is a better chance to go ahead and get it. I would imagine everybody would be able to get their tires where they want them, where they need them under this longer break. About to rack and stack them back up one more time under what would normally be the midsummer race right here from Daytona. This is race number one again of nine. This is also going to be the first time that the 20 of King Mathers will not be your leader. It's going to be the 37 of NNR Chevy. But I'm going to guess that oh something happened right there. He got wicked loose, not able to get down on the apron. That's going to cause a big pile up behind him, and that should bring out the caution. Right now, though, like J-Pot with the four of a more smoke, they are full throttle going into turns one and two. So not enough uh, carnage, I guess, behind uh, to uh, bring out that yellow. And just as I say that, there it is. Uh, so that uh, I'm going to guess that this is a manual caution, though, because I don't see the caution out on... Um, I don't see the caution out on Doc Hudson's stream. So one more caution. This is a manual. Again, everybody will have a chance to come on down pit road, do whatever they feel they need to do. It'll also give me a chance here, grab something cold to drink, and see, uh, you know, give, uh, give them all a chance as well. Not quite sure if there's a little bit of lag in the room, some people wrecking a little bit further in the back, or they're asking you know, a couple of guys in the back to go ahead and bring out that caution. And it looks like they've been able to do that. Got about 30 seconds before they go back green. That gives me enough time to chug some good old Arizona iced tea. Yeah, Teenage definitely saw that as well. Saw the contact. Looks like 37 tried to pull on down, but uh, got kind of run over. But now everybody will have had the chance to go ahead and do what they, what they had to do. So we're going to try to bring it back green and uh, get it up and going again. It's going to be the 22 of J-Pop, four car of more smoke, two car of the 20 of King Matters. And I believe the 14 was back there. But it looks like 20 is going to be able to slide on into P4. So right now, a couple of NNR Cup uh, Cup drivers are on the up, up front and doing a pretty good job trying to pull away. Right now, this is the first couple laps that j has been able to lead. 
Go back through the field here just a little bit. See how everybody sorts themselves out. Something happened with the 43 of Jose. Definitely want to get up and get going as quick as he possibly can. Again, uh, Jose's got that Fanatec equipment being part of the, the Pro League Season 2 where he drove the 95 for uh, Levine Family Gaming. Uh, both him and the Bear 95 were teamed up. Back up front right now with the 22 of j -Pop. Four of them more smoke. And right now trying to find that too as it looks like we might have some issues a little bit further in the back. As of right now, though, it doesn't look like caution is out. They're going to be able to get up and get back going as quickly as possible here. Boy, I guess I should have just kept my mouth shut, huh? Uh, I had said that they went green from the start. Now they can't actually keep it green. But they're I got to say, they're, they're trying to do their best. Just, yep, unfortunate. Here you see the 27 of NNR Pop Bear coming on down pit road to service that uh, that Xbox um, Ford Mustang with the Heat 5 logos on the on the rear quarter panels. Yeah, bowling. I guess I should have just kept my big yap shut, huh? Forty eight of Alpha York rocking these ally colors. Looks pretty good. All right, so they're going back double file. I guess they figure by the time they get back to the start stripe, Pop Bear and anybody else that came on down pit road right there will have had enough time to catch back up to the tail end of the field. Right now, they're all doing just about 70 mile an hour, so that's their that's their pace speed. 22 at J-Pi. You got the four car and more smoke, two car inside the 20. Uh, trying to get back to that two to get you that driver. Wasn't able to do it before because the caution had come out. That's going to be the two of Holy Nugget. I think that's going to be Pop Bear that I see on the bottom line all the way in the back. So we should be going back green this time by 22, 220, and the three of JR Big Dogs. That's going to be your top five. 22 is going to address the line. He is your control car going back green. Not quite sure if the four of more smoke is going to have room to duck on down. Yes, he is. Looks like the two is going to cut him a little bit of slack. So it looks like Amore is going to be able to file in right behind the 22 and Get us, uh, get us back going, and uh, yeah, we're going to bring us back green. Tail end of the field has been the trouble spot. There goes the 48 of Alpha York. He got hit. He spun around. There's the 13. He got collected as well, and right about now, this is where Unforgotten Shadow and Pop Bear, j Pie, or anybody else has got to be saying, fellas, guys, settle it down. We need to get back to the way we were racing earlier under yellow one more time. I'll go ahead and grab us a lap count as soon as uh, Doc Hudson or, or Monster Mike readdress the, uh, the, the start stripe. I definitely appreciate both of them uh, kind of allow me to, to ride along and see how things are going. They've got about five seconds left here on the timer uh, before uh, they, they stack them back up. 
J-Pot was your leader before all that. Looks like he's going to be able to maintain control with the four to the outside. Now you see the two, the three, and now the 19 of Abar. He's going to round out your top five as we go back green, hopefully for the for the last bit of the stage, which only looks like is going to be about 11 laps left here in stage number two. Definitely looked like some guys getting just a little aggressive, a little bit further in the, in the back, trying to make up every spot they can, but they just need to settle down. The 4 and the 14, they did pretty well earlier when there was those two on the high side. Let's see if they can get up and get going again. It looks like the 21, uh, he got uh, might have touched that apron and brought himself around as it looks like Caution's going to come out one more time. Um, and this is going to bring us a little bit closer to the end of stage number two. Again, 22 with J-Paw was your leader. Four car before smoke, not too far behind. He was stuck on the outside. Looks like at the point of contact, the 19 of A-Bar was uh, very close to the front. So we'll have to see uh, how it all shakes out. Right now, stream of, uh, of Doc Hudson finds himself not too far off. It's going to be 22. Um, then it's going to be Holy Nugget, Abar, uh, Delta Surge, Doc Hudson in that nine Hooters machine to round out your top five, getting ready to go back green one more time. Everybody should have had enough fuel to go the rest of the way. So I don't anticipate the 22, the 2, the 19 of A-Bar, the 11, the 4, or Doc in that 9 coming on down pit road as the 4 finds the spot on the, on the bottom, able to, to pull, on, uh, pull on down one more time. So that, uh, oh, 22 of J-Pot, something happened. Not quite sure. It kind of looks like maybe his wheel cut off, but uh, it, it put him right up into the wall. It looks like it might have been a little bit of lag. So 19 of Avar, he's going to be uh, on that bottom line. See who's, who's going to be able to, to pull up next to him. Right now, it looks like the, he's got the uh, the 9 of Doc Hudson sitting in P3. Here comes the 11 to give that big old push. There's the 4 of a more smoke. Third car on the bottom, 11 up high. Still just behind the 4. There's that 3 of JR Big Dogs behind a more smoke. Let's see who pushes who to come to the end of stage number two at the line that time. Six laps remaining. Nineteen of Abar up in the lead for the first time. Nine, this is the, the, the furthest up in the field the nine of Doc Hudson has been, and he's got a great pusher of a more smoke sitting right behind him. Doc looked like he might have been shuffled out. Amore might have given him just a little bit harder of a shot going down that back stretch. Three of JR Big Dogs right with him. Then it's going to be the, the I think that's the 77, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's going to be the 77. Let's go ahead and pull up his view uh, viewpoint right now. It's going to be the 77 of Fabico Gainer. Gamer. He's going to push that three to the outside and force his way under the yellow. The uh, leaders or the uh, admins might have to look at that a little bit later on to see if that was clean or not. But right now, 77 up to P4. The 6 of the Aviator right now rocking P5. And the 20 and the 2 right behind him. Thought I heard a little bit of something right there, a little bit of contact, but it looks like it was all right. Now the nine of uh, Doc Hudson in that Hooters Camaro, he's stuck to the outside. Ken nine and the, I'm sorry, the four, the 77, the six and the 20. Can they do anything with this nine as they come to four laps remaining here in stage number two? It looks like there some people in the back trying to get something going with that high line. Nothing going just yet. 477, 6 and a 20. Are, are they going to be content in just pushing this uh, uh, this 19 along, or will they try to back off? Maybe try to time a draft right when needed in order to get it going. 
Here's the 10 of Lions Muted pulling to the inside of the 48 of Alpha York. That's going to push the 48 out uh, just a little bit. You see the 11 to the outside. Long train of coming to his inside. There is the 9 of Doc Hudson. He started up front. Now he finds himself right around mid-pack. Uh, he's got to try to do something, but still, long way to go. You still have all of stage number three left. 16 is slowing in the way in that Fraternal Order of Eagles. Uh, Camaro, he's way off the pack right there. There's the 88 of Gist of My Fist. Nobody around him either. 12 of Dizzy Boy, also all by himself. Here's the two of Holy Nugget. He was also a little bit further up in the pack earlier. He now finds himself a little bit further back. He's got some help, though. It looks like the 18 right behind him. They're both going to be able to find their way around the 10. And with a strong pull, they're going to try to make up as many positions as they can as everybody goes flying out by that 21. Here's the 24 and more than a cape. Again, cape won the uh, uh, turn down for what? Thanksgiving special race from Talladega with some uh, great fuel strategy. First through third were actually the only cars left on the lead pack. 27 of NNR Pop Bear, a little bit further in the back. I would say he's probably sitting right around third or fourth right now. There is the six of the Aviator sitting right there uh, in about P number four. Uh, he's two cars right behind a more smoke. And as they come across the line, one more lap remaining. So I'm going to find myself all the way up to the 19 of Abar and kind of look back from him. See if anybody's going to have anything for him. Will the four of Amore Smoke just be happy to ride right there in P number two? Will he try to time a pass? Will the 77 go with the four? Will the six go with the 77? Is that 19 card just a shoot, uh, a, you know, a sitting duck? Uh, looking back right now, there is the four. Looks like he's he might be trying to time something. Will he get there? Will he up and get gone? I don't see the, the four. He's a little bit of a block there. Here comes the four. Here comes the 19 at the line. It's going to be the 19 of Abar and the four of Amore Smoke with a big old push. Almost there. Almost timed it perfectly. If it wasn't for that little bit of contact, that would have been the four stage. So it turns out it's going to be Abar, Amore Smoke, the Aviator as your top three. Uh... A little bit further back, Doc Hudson, Lions Gaming, and I'm sorry, Lions Muted, rather. And uh, Holy Nugget, Yotes King, More Than a Cape, NNR Pop Bear, Chevy, Unforgotten Shadow, and Additional Company. So end of stage two. If that's how the end of stage two was, I can imagine how the end of stage three is going to be. They got about oh, five to ten, ten seconds left here under this stage caution. But we're going to rack and stack them all back up one more time. Get ready to set them back green. Looks like it's now the 37 that's going to be our control car. Let's go ahead and find him right quick. He's got the 19 of Avar who's outside, 48 of Alpha York and company. Looks like it's going to be the four of them more smoke to the outside. He's going to give that 19 a big old shove. He knows what he's got under the hood. Here we go, guys. Looks like this time everybody was able to get up and get going, get through the gears a little bit better than the last time. A little bit more of a clean restart than we've seen uh, uh, be, um, during those uh, those couple of cautions, but doing all right. Right now, 37 of NNR Chevy. He's actually up in the uh, up in the lead. Uh, let's see if I actually can't uh, try something here, right quick. I've had uh, Chevy's um, race pulled up for laps and all that. Let's take a quick look at his uh, uh, at his POV stream. There you go. That's exactly what Chevy's stream looks like. He's got that 48 of Alpha York all over his back bumper doing a pretty good job i know right now you probably don't have any game audio so i'm going to bring it on back 
and uh, and keep it going. Sorry about that, fellas. Chevy washed up just a little bit, kind of oh, got something going on. Oh, a hard contact, and the um, I'm guessing that was the two that completely lost it, but instead of keeping it on the bottom, he act well, I can't say. I'm not behind the wheel, but he, it definitely looked like he uh, turned it back right and came up in front of the entire pack, so we'll have to have to see how this all shakes out. Looks like uh, Chevy's going to be able to retain the Alpha York P2, Doc Hudson, I'm sorry, Aviator P3, Doc Hudson P4, and JR Big Dogs in P number five. I would imagine most are probably going to come on down pit road, but some may choose to stay out, hoping that, you know, cautions don't breed cautions and we'll be able to get back and, and get going with another great green flag stint just like we just saw. All right, so let's uh, get us uh, back up with the leaders one more time. Looks like the 37 pick is right, right now. He's sitting right in the middle of the field. Here's that 10 car line through. You've got the 21 who's outside, 48 of Alfa York, and the six of the Aviator. 48's actually going to go ahead and pull up and pick up that six, see if they can't team up and try to pull away. Looks like the six is going to have just enough with that wheel and, uh, and shifter to, to, uh, to get going. That left the 21 high and dry. Uh, 21's going to lose a few spots now uh, in this um, in this pack. Not enough people went to the high side. There's the 88, a gist of my fist. Uh, looks like he put a little, whoever that was, right in front of him, a little bit of contact with the wall, but did a very good job to uh, to, to keep it out of the rest of the pack. Uh, the 88, the heat just made a little bit of contact, came down just a little bit, a little bit of contact with the 21. 21's able to cleanly get by, but just made contact with quite a few people. Um, and he will easily lose that draft because he lost all kinds of momentum. So now just all the way tail end Charlie right now. Let's kind of catch back up with their, with uh, this, this larger pack. Right now the two of Holy Nugget with that 48, uh, I'm sorry, not the 48, 37 of, uh, of Chevy giving him a big old shove. Two of Holy Nugget with a big run of the inside of the 10. Right behind now the, right behind of the, of the 20. Had a little bit of, a uh, little bit of run of a run, but decided to keep it right down, right um, I can't talk now. Right on the bottom. Long train on that bottom line right now. Everybody doing their best to hold the butter. And see the, the uh, 22 of J-Pot went down and caught up with the 24. 24 smacked it. Excuse me. Smacked the wall and around a few times. And that is going to bring out the caution. So this not only helps the 24, but you saw the 88 of just of my fist uh, kind of lose the draft after some uh, rear pack uh, contact as well. So this is uh, this is very good for just of my fist as well. Under caution, one more time. Got about five seconds left before they bring it back green. Again, definitely want to thank everybody for coming out, hanging out, chatting up, and keeping me company. I think next week when this uh, when this new 
League heads to Auto Club for race number two of the uh, the nine race season. Um, the one and only Rick James will be in the booth with me again. You see the 48 just ahead of the four and the uh, and the nine of Doc Hudson go up to try to pick up the six, but this time too much motor on that bottom side. So the six of the aviator was not able to fall in. He's gonna lose a few spots. Right now the nine of Doc Hudson all over the back bumper, the 48 of Alpha York with the four car of a more smoke and the, and the 20 just behind him. So top four, top five, all on that bottom line trying to do what they can to guard every single position. JP Big Dog, what's happening? Good to see you. There's old JR Big Dog sitting right now in about P6 or P7, running this American Ethanol uh, three-car throwback scheme, uh, sitting right behind the, the 20. And that time by, they had all 15 laps remaining in the final stage, ladies and gents, getting, uh, getting closer and closer to wrapping this thing up. There's the 18, stuck to the outside, not really having anybody out there to go with them. As you just saw the 21 pull in, looks like the 18 is able to find a hole. Now everybody solidly on that bottom line all the way uh, through, uh, through this set of turns. 22, a J pot. something must have happened to him. He is all the way in the back. This 22's got to certainly hope for some kind of a caution. He can see the field up ahead, so not quite sure not quite sure what happened to that 22 uh, shell pencil of Ford. 14 of Yotes King finding himself three wide right now. Looks like the six car of the Aviator down low. He's got the 88 up high. That's just on my fist. Now the 12 to the inside of the 88. There's that 18 NASCAR fan again, able to find a hole a little bit further back in order to uh, see what spots he can now make up. You know, hope that people up front would would uh, you know make a make a mistake and he'd be able to you know, squeeze under him. Any hole that opens up on this bottom line, you know that it's going to get filled. So there you see the 10 of Lions muted. He just saw the two car get uh, shuffled out of line. Now the 10 of Lions muted. He got shuffled out of line. Cape contact with the wall. He got shoved to the outside yet again. Uh, this Oh, cars tumbling all the way down the back stretch. This should, without a doubt, bring out the caution one more time. And this is not what the nine car of Doc Hudson wanted to see. He was the leader, I believe, at the time of caution. And uh, yeah, it was Doc Hudson, the 48 of Alpha York, the 20 of King Mathers, Abar in the 19, and slow and in the way. That was your top five, followed by JR Big Dogs, Boss EGO, Amor Smoke, Jose95, and TGM Beast. And this will uh, definitely bring us uh, a little bit further uh, to, uh, to to wrapping up race number one of this, again, this nine-week, very short season, which culminates right back here uh, two weeks before the Daytona 500. And in case you missed it before, the person that wins the championship here, and th there's no there's no postseason, no nothing like that. It's all points. So whoever racks up the most amount of points in this nine or ten week season is gonna uh, receive two tickets to the Daytona 500 to join Papa Bear as well as Unforgotten Shadow for the Great American Race. Now Doc Hudson in the lead, 48 of, uh, of Alpha York, right to his outside, 20, able to, uh, not quite able to uh, be all over the back bumper of that nine, and as they come across the start stripe next time, by, I'll go ahead and grab a lap count, a whole lot of movement in the back, let's see who's going to be able to hold it down if they're going to be able to keep green for the rest. Right now, although I'm working my way up to that nine of Doc Hudson to see what his view is like, uh, as he's got the entire field all in his rear view. Forty-eight twenty in the nineteen. A bar right now sitting in P four. Jr. Big Dogs. There comes the forty-eight, and it looks like he's going to have some company. 
Nobody stayed down low with the nine of Doc Hudson. Everybody, the 20, the 19, the three, and others are gonna go. They're gonna go high. There goes the four of more smoke, and it looks like it might just be the 43 that picks up the nine. As the 21, he's gonna go with the more. But now Amore got stuck to the outside. A little bit of a lag right there. As the three and nine fighting for uh, fighting for room right along that bottom line. As it looks like the 19. He's going to go hard into the outside wall. This should no doubt bring out one more caution. And, yep, you can hear by the motor. They're, uh, they're winding it down right now with just about eight laps left. Everybody, I imagine, in top five and more is going to go ahead and stay out. Nobody should have to pit. We'll have to see, though. Work my way back up to the nine of Doc Hudson one more time. As everybody gets ready to go, about 20 seconds left in uh, um, in this caution for them. That this uh, this caution is a huge break for that 22 in J-Pot. You saw where he had lost the draft earlier. Uh, so just like uh, just in my fist before him, this played very very well for that 22 Shell Pinzoy Floyd Mustang. Now it looks like it's going to be the 48. It's going to be the control car. 22 is outside. 19-3. And now the 9 of Doc Hudson. That's right. I forgot Doc Hudson got freight train on the outside. So 48, he's going to get up and get going. Huge, huge issue. 19 not able to get up and get going. That allowed two other cars to fall in just before. I hope that the 19 didn't lay off and ended up stacking up the field because usually that does not bode well for everybody else. But like, oh, about the first seven cars now all guiding that butter all the way around. 48 of Alpha York. He's just got to hold on for two, maybe three laps and hope that he can keep it right there and become the first winner in this new uh, Shadow Racing League uh, season. Again, this season's only uh, nine or ten weeks long, and the, the uh, again, the overall winner gets two tickets to the Daytona 500. Now with three laps remaining, three, uh, three to go, 48-20, the three of JR Big Dogs, the 19 of Abar, nine of Doc Hudson, and then the 43. Everybody on that bottom line. Is the 48 just a sitting duck? Is the 19 going to be able to get under him? Or is the 19 just kind of content right now to run there in P number uh uh, P number four, nine of Doc Hudson, not all over the back bumper of the 19. Is the nine looking to maybe just bide a little bit, hoping that he'll be able to gain a little bit of an advantage? Is the 19 now dropping back to the nine's front bumper? Nine now shuffled out to the outside. Uh, two more laps remaining. 48 still out front. A little bit of contact in the back. Everybody came across the start stripe still under green right there. Work my way up to that 48 uh, uh, camera. See if we can't pick up on old Alpha York. He's got to try to do his best to hold on. There he is, looking back. There's the 20 in his rear view. You see the three car, JR Big Dogs, right now, sitting at P3. 19 of Avar all over his back bumper. Nine of Doc Hudson trying to pull out uh, or got shuffled out, but nobody is going to go with him. 48. One more lap remaining, two and one half miles. Can Alpha York hold it? Right now, it doesn't look like anybody is really laying back to, to try to time a, a little bit of a run. Is the three car the first one to do that? 19 of Abar all over his back bumper, not allowing anybody to get any kind of a run. Is that by you know, just, uh, a friend of the 48 to hold everybody back? Here they come off the turns three and four. Looking back from the 48, 48 now looking forward, all looking nothing but the checkered flag in his uh, sights. 20 pulled out, three, and it looks like 48 of Alf York's going to go ahead and solidly put his place in line for those Daytona 500 tickets. He's going to have win points. He, I don't know where he finished in stages, uh, but it's going to be, he's going to have a lot of, uh, 
a lot of points to start off with. Nothing like getting a win here in Daytona. We're going to talk to Alpha York. We're going to talk to the three-card JR Big Dogs, and I think we're going to talk to the 20 as well. Your top three, Alpha York, King Mathers, and JR Big Dogs. 48, 20, and the three. Congratulations one more time, Alpha York. All right, I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. I don't need to go wherever they're going next. Ladies and gents, just please give me one more before, uh, before our top three join us in the booth. And we'll, uh, we'll talk to them about their race, talk to them about any strategy, talk to them about those cautions, you know, where they finish during the stages and everything else. Again, big, big thank you to, uh, to Monster Mike as well as Doc Hudson for streaming to help me kind of keep up with everything that was going. I'm going to go ahead and I, uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll be right back here in oh, about 15 seconds. All right, thank you very much, guys. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's set this up here. So uh, right now, JP Big Dogs out there. He was the first one to yell, "Big ol' let's go for Jr. Big Dogs." We're gonna get a chance to talk to him here in just a second. But definitely gotta congratulate our uh, congratulate our top three again. Alpha York getting the W. King Mathers pushing his buddy along, and Jr. Big Dogs. He's gonna come home in P3. So we'll actually talk to him. JR Big Dogs, it's repeat in the booth. Buddy, you got me. JR, you got your ears on, sir. You look kind of funny if you didn't, though, I guess, huh? Got you. I got you. All right, man. You uh you seemed to like you were in the in the top five, top top ten all throughout the race, whether it was under caution or you know, however it all played out. That that American ethanol, you know, throwback paint scheme definitely stout on that bottom line as you're trying to protect the butter, keeping a hold of every single position you could. Uh, talk us through those cautions, what you had to do in order to stay in this top five, and you know, uh, talk to us about those those last five those last five laps. Did you think you were gonna have anything for Alpha? No, I'll just try to just try to work with work with Alpha and uh, and Mathers there. I wasn't trying to push push the issue with them. Uh, I, I'm happy with the top three, uh, but then them cautions. I just try to make sure I had enough fuel, uh, you know, get my tire pressures up and, and and try to stay on the on the bottom, you know, restart on the bottom as much as I could. But you know, a couple times it worked out. I was able to get to the bottom. Uh, I may have forced you know issue once or twice to, to try to get to the bottom. But uh, I knew it was so important to try to stay in the bottom. So it's it was a, it was a fun race. Um, but, yeah, the track position is just key. It's, it's just key with the bottom. Absolutely. I, I only saw a couple of cars really able to make that high line work, and that was when the, the four of Amour Smoke with the 14 right behind him got a little bit of a train going. Um, wasn't quite able to get that. Uh, you know, solidified, um, but it, it, you know, any any time we're talking about Daytona or Talladega under normal presets, that bottom line is absolutely going to be uh, preferred. Now, I I know you're you're very very strong over in uh, in turn down for what you're 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 pretty strong. You know, a anywhere that I've seen you, what does this do now? Uh, you know, setting up your first top three in this very very short nine week season. Uh, you know, getting ready to, you know, crown a, 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 a first season champion. I don't know what the what the plans are, whether there's going to be a season two or what, you know, Shadow really hasn't or Unforgotten Shadow really hasn't talked about that. Or if it's just a one time thing where one of one of you, one of the drivers in this field or in this uh, in this um, league is going to be given two uh, Daytona 500 tickets. 
Yeah, that's that's uh that's special, man. It's 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 really something to fight for. But you know, I, I just try to go out there and do the best I can. There, there's there's so much talent uh, in this roster. It's just, it's just unreal. So you know, to even be in the top five, finishing the top five in the races, you know, means means a lot to me. Uh, everyone wants to win, you know, uh, but there's definitely a lot of a lot of good competition to try to to try to get those wins. So. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun, I think. Yeah, and I tell you what, with two Daytona 500 tickets on the line, it's definitely reason enough to make sure that during the week, you know, aside from everything else that you've got going on, any other leagues you got going on, when we head to Auto Club next week, you're certainly going to want to make sure that you come prepared for that, you know, prestigious tickets uh, up for grabs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Auto Club's yep. fun. Oh yeah. Well, congrats one more time on your uh, on your 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 P three finish. I appreciate it, Pete. Means you got well, it, buddy. Sir. Yep. King Mathers, man, King. I tell you what, you seemed what? like another one like uh, another up there in up the there. Uh, yeah. uh, top five. It seemed like all race long, whether it's on the high side, low side, you were able to sneak in after that that last caution and really just push Alpha along. Talk us through those uh, final ten laps, if you don't mind. Oh, here I am. I was muted. Sorry. Um, <laughs> there you go, bud. Uh, no, that was a good race. Uh, I uh, I owe that one to Alpha from uh, the beginning of uh, Summer Series, uh, the cup run there at Texas when I uh, moved him out of the way for the first win of the season. And so I, I owed him this one, and I'm glad he won it. But, no, overall it was a good race. Uh, I don't know. Just the bottom was key, like, like Big Dog said. Uh, I just made sure I stayed on the bottom, but when we made that move on on Doc on the nine car on the high side, then we all went up high and got up up front one two three. Uh, I knew we had it from there. Well, man, it was uh, it was it was amazing to, to to watch you, you know, in that twenty. It was. It seems like everywhere you go, whether it's in American ethanol on uh, on a Wednesday or a Thursday night you know battling hard you you uh, you took the season championship last year fought pretty hard uh, with stout whiskey for that he didn't you know obviously he didn't give it to you so you know what you're doing <laughs> what are you going to have in store when we get to auto club next week uh just stay consistent god uh, don't speed down pit road is going to be a key uh, you <laughs> you're know, trying stay, to tell me about on. last night speeding down pit road yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, stay out of the accidents, you know, and, uh, just stay, try to stay clean and try to stay up front and try to get a top three finish again. So, well, you're definitely, uh, starting off pretty strong. Once the, the points are all tabulated, we'll find out who got points for fast slap, who got, well, obviously we're know who's going to have uh, points for pole, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, man, congratulations. I'm glad I got that uh, five bonus points. So if that, yeah, if that comes into play, it. I'm glad I got yep. that. Yep, you uh, you got that in the bank, absolutely. <laughs> but man, it's um, it's good to good to see you running strong. Good to talk to you again. Congratulations on this P2, sir. Thanks, Pete. You got it. Then the one and only man of the hour, Alpha York. Earlier in the race, we saw you a little bit mired back in traffic until you were able to work your way through the field, whether it was under caution or otherwise. It seemed like any time a hole opened up, there you were, Johnny on the spot, able to work your way in and work your way up through the field. Congratulations, buddy. You got the first win of this very, very short nine race, nine race season that at the end, who knows, we might be talking to you about a couple of Daytona 500 tickets. How you doing, Alpha? Oh, man, what a race, Pete. Holy shit. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got well, you, buddy. Apologies. I got you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, man, you're good. You're allowed to be excited, dude. You're yeah, allowed to be crazy. excited. This is the first oh, time I man. think I've ever talked to you, whether it's with American Ethanol, NNR, or wherever, talking to you as the winner uh, during one of these races, man. Uh, now, with that last caution, you had the entire field behind you. You got one hell of a start, and not only were you able to kind of pull a little bit, but the people that were behind you were able to drop in as well. Was that under plan, or did the guy on the inside just not get that great of a restart? Uh, we were all in the same party. Top four of us all together. So it was it was planned. We uh, I knew I had my friends behind me, 
And, you know, I, I figured last lap all bets were off. And I, I was waiting for King to make a move coming out of four. But, I mean, it was it was all by plan. Well, I, I know in the restart just before that, you had the six of uh, the aviator to the outside. You were able to pull on up, and he had enough of a, a from behind and <laughs> enough of a pull to go ahead and drop back down. It kind of left the 21 out to dry. You might uh, owe him a little something after all is <laughs> said and done. But um, it, was, uh, it, it, was a, it was a phenomenal race. Quite a few cautions, but you know what? Being the first race where a lot of these guys uh, just kind of thrown together. Originally, it was going to be about 25 people max. I think we're ending up to a little bit closer to 30 on the overall roster. I think we're, we're done. You know, the, the season has started. This season ends just two weeks before the Daytona, kick, uh, t- Daytona 500 kicks off. I, yes, just sir. like I asked, uh, just like I asked Mathers and I asked JR Big Dogs, how prepared do you feel you might have to be for Auto Club, knowing how stacked this roster is? Um, I feel every every week uh, it's going to be one of those races. It's just going to be a dogfight, man. You got people in here like a Moore Smoke and Aviator. I think Big John's supposed to be here. He wasn't here tonight. There's Jose. I mean, I could. I got Mathers, Abar, Big Dogs. I mean, I could go on and on and on about all the people that are here. So, I mean, it's a. It's going to be a fight every week, man. You got to be, you got to be prepared, ready to bring your A game everywhere we go. Well, it's buddy, going to be you, an easy road. You're, you're 100 right about that. You got, uh, you, you got, got max uh, points got tonight. Max points. I don't know exactly how you finished in the stages or if there are stage points. Uh, you know, I haven't gotten with uh, Unforgotten Shadow or, or, um, or Pop Bear to see how they're doing it. To the best of my knowledge, you know, lap, uh, the lap, uh, the fastest uh, lap, lap of the night lap. is, uh, is getting, um bonus points as well as the pole sitter so king mathers he he uh he got one of those squared down we'll have to see who gets the fastest <laughs> fastest lap but no um, man you would have you would have had second place but i was but, one uh, one thousandth off of him for that pole when I lagged <laughs> out somehow, so. <laughs> I that's there. what happens with tandem qualifying but man yeah. uh rock nascar's out there in chat saying congratulations alpha so you got the you know you got him out there in your corner Alpha, I'm, I'm, I'm just saving it for, for the winner during these. Any shout-outs for you, buddy? Ah, uh, man, shout-out to you, Pete. I appreciate you, man, for everything that you're doing. My teammates that I had tonight, and j Abar, Mathers, Big Dogs, and the 21. He was in my party, too. I, I didn't mean to leave him hanging. I didn't mean, leave him, leave, I didn't mean to leave him hanging, but uh, everybody over at NNR and American F and all, thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Well, again, one bit, one more big congrats uh, from me and the one and only Rock NASCAR out there in chat. You got max points here for tonight. Not quite sure, again, how it's going to work out between the stage and all that, but you are off to one hell of a start uh, towards those uh, Daytona 500 tickets, sir. It's going to be a yes, battle sir. for those Daytona 500 <laughs> tickets because I've never hell been yeah. to a NASCAR race, and I would love to go to one. Ah, so, all right, man. Um, But as for me, guys, that's going to be it for this Sunday. But don't forget, next Sunday, 5 o'clock, between 5 and 5.30, I imagine it will go along a little bit smoother, might get started closer to the, you know, the mid part of the hour. Between now and next next Sunday, when uh, Shadow Racing visits Auto Club, you'll be able to catch me on Tuesday night right around 9.30 Eastern when the NNR Truck Series head to Martinsville. They're going to be the first series to take on the paperclip. Then we got the Xfinity Series Wednesday night right around 8.30 Eastern. They're going to head there. And then, of course, the Cup guys, the big dogs, they're going to head to the uh, to the paperclip for the first short track of uh, of the NNR. No, I'm, I'm taking I uh, I don't know. It's it. They're all kind of bleeding together now. But yeah, they're gonna head to the paperclip for the first time this season as well. Definitely wish all y'all y'all. Please stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Avoid the big crowds. Wear your mask. Do what you gotta do so we can all hopefully uh, get back to these tracks. Maybe maybe the Daytona 500. Uh, it'll be uh, it'll be a lot of fun. But. I hope to see y'all then until Tuesday night, again, right around 9.30 Eastern. I'll see y'all somewhere around the track or on another stream. Later, guys.